Welcome to my channel, like and subscribe. Now let's do five minutes, you ready? One minute, I have to do my vocal warm ups. You ready, Alex? When I heard you'd never done a podcast, I was like, sit down, baby girl. Let's go. I said yes to you because I've seen you pop up mm -hmm. um, on social media, which didn't exist when I was coming up in this business. Mm -hmm. But you feel safe. And I always, I appreciate that, you know, because I've been through the gamut of a lot of interviews and people that, you know, I grew up at a time where it was like appropriate to be inappropriate and ask, you know, crazy things. You look wonderful. You, you look terribly exotic. You look a tray, tray exotique. A exotic? Yes, um, I think so. Well, thank Thank you. Now, can Thank I talk you. about the piercings for a moment? <laughs> now, where, See, it's, it's always about the piercings. Well, no, where are you pierced, exactly? We're all... Oh, boy. Um, in Rolling Stone, I think, uh, they had a diagram of supposedly right. where they thought all well, my well, piercings were. Tell us were. truthfully where you were, were pierced. Um, How old were you when you started piercing yourself? Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe we should change the subject. And look at your outfit. You look nice. You know, it's a Thank little risque, you. but it's not trampy in any capacity. No. You know? I mean, the back is a little low, but frankly, if I had a body like you, I'd be wearing that right now, too. So I always feel it's never like the most intelligent way to go, because when you make someone feel safe, they want to open up more. And you Let's always not get it twisted, though. I'm sensitive and all that, but I'm a tough cookie. At the end of the day, I truly don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I just really I feel don't. like the amount of people that still recreate your outfits, whether it was red carpet, <laughs> music videos, like it's insane. Every fucking Halloween, it's like Christina everywhere. <laughs> How does that feel that that's still so powerful and people people's minds it's incredible now it's celebrated and it feels mm -hmm. good and even the people that you know got it then but there was a lot of pushback there was a lot of double standards with it mm -hmm. and there was a lot of you know because I went on tour with Justin we did the strip justified tour and there were things where I was just like why is it okay for him and not okay for me you know what I mean yes. so it was just like I was constantly pushing back and and my way I mean it was so inappropriate sometimes the things that were were asked about that era it's so crazy to me it's yeah. like I'm doing the same thing and yet I'm being called a slut and like he's like the boy <laughs> next door thanks for watching like share and subscribe to my channel